Malcolm Watson was a popular English teacher at his private school. He loved his students. Some say too much. Because despite being an exceptional educator, it was his extracurricular activities with an underage student that got him charged with sex abuse. But instead of jail, listen to this. A judge is letting him move to Canada. I've never seen a case where an American citizen was told to leave the United States. It was sentencing day at the Chictawaga Town Court in Buffalo, New York, where 35-year-old teacher Malcolm Watson stood nervously before the judge. As part of a plea deal, the class one sex offender was given an unusual choice of punishments. Go to jail or go to Canada. Understandably, Watson chose Canada. Now legal experts on both sides of the border are battling to see just where this disgraced educator will spend the next three years on probation. It really did create a firestorm. And it appeared we were trying to export a sex offender uh, to their shores. Watson was a popular teacher at the elite Buffalo Seminary, one of the most prestigious private institutions in the Northeast. The old girl prep school proudly boasts of small class sizes and stresses individual attention from an outstanding staff. But last April, that individual attention got too up close and personal when faculty member Watson was caught in the parking lot of the Walden Mall in an uncompromising position with a 15-year-old female student. In layman's terms, they were making out and police officers came upon them. He's 35, she's 15. So they arrest him. He's charged with that sexual abuse charge and endangering the welfare of a child. Frank Clark is the Erie County District Attorney who helped barter the unusual plea deal. Our intent was to try and resolve the matter without a trial because the victim's family really didn't want her to have to testify in open court about something as embarrassing and traumatic as this. So how did this unprecedented deal become reality? Well, Malcolm Watson is an American citizen. What his wife, seen here running from the cameras, is Canadian. The couple live across the border in Fort Erie, Canada, with their three young children. So Watson happily left the U.S. to return to his home. In fact, the DA says the banishment to Canada was the perp's idea, and the victim's family agreed. He agrees to plea guilty as charged. In return, we agree not to seek a jail sentence. So why did the victim's family go along with this bizarre plea arrangement? According to the district attorney, there are essentially two reasons. First is that the teenage victim in this case was infatuated with this hugely popular teacher. So her parents jumped at the chance to get this guy out of the country. And second, ironically, the family wanted to keep this case under wraps. And they thought that the unprecedented legal maneuver would quiet the controversy. Obviously, they were wrong. I think the sentence is an odd one. I think that the, uh, the court may have reached a little too far here to be lenient. Immigration attorney Michael Wiles believes this ruling can have dangerous repercussions. An American citizen is immune from removal. And by this gentleman actually leaving the United States, he's effectively opening up a new door of law that is not in the books. And even in Canada, with the age of consent as a scary 14 years old, they're now saying they don't want Watson either. Ontario Premier Dalton McGuinty is leading a movement to boot the freshly convicted sex offender back to his own country. It's obviously not the kind of precedent that uh, uh, we want to allow the Americans to establish. We will certainly work to ensure that we don't become some kind of a dumping ground for convicted offenders. Malcolm Watson just may become a modern day man without a country. For now, the exiled American is allowed back into the country once a week to visit his probation officer. Still ahead from plain Jane to sexy sirens.